Why is there no such thing as a natural disaster? Because it's up to us as people and societies to prevent them. Stay with me, Elon Kelman, for this next episode in our series, when I'll be trying to understand why we choose to let disasters happen. Disasters are caused by vulnerabilities, not hazards, with people's vulnerabilities usually caused by others who tend not to experience the vulnerabilities or disasters directly. This means that nature, through the hazards, does not cause disasters. So disasters do not come from nature. Disasters are not natural. The phrase natural disaster really doesn't make sense. It is a misnomer and should preferably be avoided just calling them disasters. Disasters are caused by choices about vulnerabilities, mainly creating vulnerability for others over the long term. Given that not everyone can understand design calculations or legal documents, if your house collapses in a landslide, tornado or flood, who set the building codes? Who monitored and enforced any regulations? And who provided information that you could comprehend in order to make a decision about living there or not? All these processes require people, people with the power and resources to do the job properly and they require time to implement. Consequently, disasters are not sudden, swift events happening in a specific location at a specific time. They are long-term, slow-moving, social processes. Some environmental events appear rapidly, such as tornadoes and landslides. Disasters take a long time to manifest even if only apparent when a sudden hazard appears, such as the house collapsing in a tornado or a landslide. Because it was inevitable that collapse would happen at some point due to the design, siting and construction. The disaster results from humanity's decisions, attitudes, values, behavior and activities over the long term. All disasters happen slowly. Overall, dealing with nature is not that challenging provided that we focus, do it properly, and sustain our actions over the long term. The choice is ours. Now, this does not mean blaming people who lose their lives and property in disasters. They do not often deserve to feel guilty for what happened to them. The real perpetrators of disasters are those who create and maintain the social processes leading to vulnerabilities, such as failing to implement monitor or enforce building and planning regulations, such as marginalizing people so that they have no decision-making power, and such as moving resources into destructive industries like weapons rather than into services for everyone, such as mapping floodplains and supporting healthcare. Disasters are not extreme, unusual, unpredictable events originating in the environment. They are the common, everyday, often unadmitted conditions disastrous conditions in which we all live and are often powerless to stop. Examples being electricity prices rising, so being unable to heat your home in winter or cool it in summer, such as deforestation by an outside company destabilizing the slope above your town, such as girls or people with disabilities being systematically harassed at school so they do worse in education and have fewer job opportunities. Factors creating the unnatural disasters cover physical aspects of individuals, so examples are age, gender and state of health, also aspects of society, such as demography, economics, cultural norms, crime, corruption, the built environment. The reasons why vulnerabilities are not overcome relate to ideologies, governance, prejudices, assumptions, resources, power relations, and availability of choices. This does not remove individual responsibility in cases where people have choices and resources, yet they still select vulnerability, which could be living in a floodplain to enjoy being beside the sea or beside the river. It does mean recognizing that vulnerability arises from a balance between options for oneself and imposing options on others. Delving into the nature and causes of vulnerability makes it clear that people are not inherently vulnerable to hazards, but they are made vulnerable by societal and individual choices. 
Could we be hit by disaster from outer space? Join me next time to study this possibility. Why not subscribe and watch all the episodes in this series? Hit the bell button to hear about new downloads as soon as they become available.